does therapy really work and can it work for anyone? That's a question I get a lot. And before I answer it and share my personal journey, I first want to thank everyone who so generously has donated to my GoFundMe campaign to support my education as a therapist. It really does take a team and your $5 contribution directly supports my education. If you'd like to make a donation, I've left the link to the campaign below in the description box beneath this video. A million thanks in advance. Many of you have been with me since I first started my channel in 2020, and you've asked where you can access my old vids. Well, I've spent the last two weeks compiling a video anthology of all my old content, and it's now available on Patreon. Why Patreon? Because there's no censorship. Creators are free to upload their content and engage with their community without worrying about strikes or their content getting removed. It was really fun putting that together. It took me through memory lane and I realized how much we've been through. It was a lot. Good times. If you're new to this channel, the content will give you a glimpse into what makes your channel grow. Authenticity. I had no fancy edits. I still don't, but that's not what matters. A true connection with your audience about topics that you're passionate about are what matter most. There are 141 videos in total. You can watch them, share them, download them, and comment on them while interacting with other page members. But they'll only be available for two or maybe three months. After that, I'm pulling them all down. So if you'd like access, I've left the link in the description box below. It's just 10 bucks and the funds will go toward my therapist training. So again, Thanks for your support. Okay, let's get into it. Does therapy really work and can anyone benefit from it? So in June 2018, I was assaulted and I wound up in the hospital with 13 stitches to my eye. A traumatic experience, not so much because of the injuries, but because someone I loved and trusted inflicted them. This event changed the trajectory of my life in ways I wouldn't realize until many years later. Because I'm a veteran, I was eligible to receive free therapy through a program here in New York City, a contribution by the prestigious Langone Clinic. I was put on a waiting list and it took about six months before I had my first appointment. While I waited for my session, I dedicated my time to research, hoping to understand what had happened and why. I listened to podcasts and audiobooks. I watched videos and documentaries. I read countless books and started journaling my thoughts and everything that I was feeling. I also painted to express my emotions when words weren't enough. I was blessed with a highly skilled therapist who was engaged in my journey, and I was also engaged. I went to my weekly sessions with my journal to help her understand where I was on my journey and how she could best help me. We made a great team, and by the time our sessions ended eight months later, she helped me realize that no matter what had happened, the real source of the issue were my beliefs about myself. Her skills allowed me to break a cycle and change my life dramatically. To be clear, therapy didn't magically resolve everything. That took years of introspection and work. After my official sessions had ended, I understood what sort of guidance I needed to continue and finally overcome the self-identity that had put me in that situation to begin with. That's when I discovered therapists Joe Dispenza and Marissa Peer. Their content helped me continue to grow. And this is why I want to train with Marissa Peer and become a therapist so that I can do for others what she did for me. Why? Helping others realize their power and change their lives lets me relive the joy I felt when I was given that gift. So does therapy work and can it help anyone? Absolutely, and I'm living proof. But notice that it was a team effort. Nothing works until you do, until you're committed to your own health and success. So here are three things that you can do to make sure that your therapy works for you. Number one, journaling. This helps you and your therapist understand where you are in the process so that they know how to best guide you. Number two, exercise. Physical movement like walks, bike riding, yoga, or jogging get you out of your head and into your body. This gives you a break from your thoughts and the space helps you gain valuable perspective. But this also means following instructions. If your therapist recommends you take certain steps, then just take them and commit to them. The reason they're giving you instruction is because they understand the way the mind works and how to shift the way your mind is working, even though you don't. 
They've already been down this road with others like you, and they have the knowledge to guide you toward your goals. So listen to them and do the work. Stop resisting change, because if what you were doing worked, you wouldn't be in therapy. And lastly, number three, keep it to yourself. The biggest mistake you can make when going through therapy is sharing what happens during your sessions with others. First, it's none of their business. Second, many of the people around you right now are part of the problem, so sharing your journey with them will derail your progress. Third, you are sharing the most intimate thoughts and feelings with your therapist because they're impartial. They're there to help you, not judge you, and they gain nothing from the information other than insight so they can help. But that's not true of the people around you. The last thing you need is to make yourself vulnerable to the opinions and motives of people who have a vested interest in keeping you in the same situation that you're trying to get out of. If they ask for details, let them know kindly, but firmly. It's going well, but I'm not comfortable sharing. I'm not there yet. Remember that you're not obligated to share your journey now or ever. Keep your therapy between you and your therapist. Those who truly love you will understand. I hope these tips give you clarity and the courage to get the help that you need. And I hope my story helped you know that you're not alone and that things will turn around if that's what you truly desire. I share the core of what I learned in a four-part series that you can watch by clicking the link above. For other links and resources, check out the description box beneath this video. Love you guys. See you in the next vid.